CSI Vegas wraps things up. Oh, my goodness. Sunday, 10 Eastern on CBS. It's available on Paramount Plus, which you can see on the Roku channel as well. Back on the Rich Eisen Show, we just saw a clip of CSI Vegas. Paula Newsom is here in studio. It is good to see you. How, How are you? Doing? I'm really good, Rich So I referred Eisen. to you, one of your uh, co-stars, Mark Helgenberger, as a diehard Panther fan, and you, co you corrected me. She's yes, she is now a Kansas City Chiefs fan. Is that bad? No, no, oh, it's no. not. Wow. It's just we're just kind of, you know, just why? wondering like when she might have flipped here. You know, I mean, probably has something to do with Patrick Mahomes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so I'm not mad at the girl. It's a good idea. No, I know that your your, your uh, co-star uh, from Barry, uh, Mr. Winkler, is What's it? his team? Does um, he have a team? Well, it's it's Mahomes. And now he's he, Mahomes too. He loves Mahomes. He actually in that chair two Junes ago talked about how much he loves Patrick Mahomes. We said we can make this thing happen, and they met. They met one another. Okay, I'm a Kansas City Chiefs fan. <laughs> I'm not bad. I'm not bad. Now, wait a minute. You're from Chicago, doesn't... And I have no team. What do you mean you have no team? What are you talking about? I'm from Chicago. But you don't... I don't have a team. <laughs> he understands. <laughs> Am I lying? Well, I, I think your fortunes are about to change. Yeah, they're about to change. Don't, don't jump ship. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. I jumped in 87. I was two. Oh, 87. But I jumped in 87. <laughs> Okay, so you it's got the true. Super Bowl and left. Yeah. I'm, tell, I'm telling the truth. Mike did good. God bless him. God bless him. Yeah. He did the best he could, but he truly gave away a Super Bowl team. Am I lying? Well, yeah, I that hear you. No, I'm not lying, no, people. No, I know. So you're just, you're just, wow. So I've been burned. You've been burned too burned. many times. Burned. Well, now you, you've got to, let's let's bring you back to the yeah, fold here. It's a good time to come back. The fold it's is in down in Kansas City. <laughs> She's got a point, guys. I'm folded in Kansas City. Well, the, the Bears just drafted Caleb Williams, oh, God, who yes. is supposedly the next Mahomes. So if you have the next Mahomes, wouldn't you want to be in on the Chicago Bears right I'll now? I'll give him five years. Okay. And I wave from the sidelines, cheering them on very valiantly. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. It's, it was rough. Come on. No, so which which side of uh, Chicago are you south from? Side. You're South Sider. I'm South Sider. You're South Sider. Okay. So now, were you a uh, a Bulls fan, basically? But you know, no. I, I okay. So I left Chicago and traveled and was in New York okay. and traveled and did theater all over the world. Sure. But my my parents and my family had season tickets to the Bulls during Michael's reign. Oh my! Can goodness. you imagine? Wow. And you know what's so that funny about crazy. it? What was so funny about it is my father. He would sit back and he'd talk about like. Oh, I don't want to go tonight. Like, you get these tickets to somebody else. Because he just, you know, they had season's tickets for 145 years. And so... I, But I never got a chance to go because I was traveling and going to college and whatnot. Oh, okay. So when Jordan was winning rings in the United Center or the old uh, Chicago Stadium, your 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 family had season tickets to yes, that, Yes, they huh? did. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that amazing? Oh, my gosh. I, I, I saw... Uh, a hockey game in uh, Chicago Stadium yeah. when I was in college at Michigan, yeah. and that 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 was one of my favorite old school barn buildings in nothing, Chicago. There was nothing like a winning Chicago team, right? You know, mm -hmm. it's it just it's it is a cultural like it's in the blood. Yes, it's in the blood. The joy that we get. You right. Know? Obviously, in a parade on, on Michigan Avenue, too, is the ultimate, Cute. if you can do that. I want to talk about football. Let me tell you something. Oh, you want to talk about football? I want to talk about football. What I want, want to talk, talk about? about my sister and I have a name for Bill Belichick and what's his name? The other guy, the quarterback that Tom, just Tom, Tom Brady. Brady, exactly. Oh, Tom Brady. And that is what? Uh oh. Uh, Careful. <laughs> Lucifer and the son of perdition. <laughs> Why wow. do you say wow. that? <laughs> because I'm from Chicago. We don't have a team. But you don't have a team. We're envious. That's okay. right. I'll just tell the truth. All right. Well, right now, um, think they're now. in purgatory right <laughs> yeah. now. So don't yeah. worry. Not good anymore. No, don't worry. They're, they're exactly where you want them to be right now. It's nice. See, I, I, let me just t t tell this. You, you should... You should give your Chicago Bears another shot. 1985. I understand that. I totally get that. And I've, I've 1969 for I've, Rich. 1969 for uh, me. And then again, he's a Patriot fan. Who's your team? So who's your team? New, New York Jets. For TJ. New York Jets. You want to talk about being without a team? Oh. Yeah, I know. I, I do deserve a hug. Oh. Yes. So listen, I'm, I'm just telling you what? that things are things are cooking. For who? For the Bears right now. Yeah, but to the point where you you might just be able to just sit back. Jay Cutler. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear you. Yeah, he was pretty good. No, I mean he was good on that bicycle. 
<laughs> he, he, was was he was no. better on that bicycle, exactly. Uh, he was, wow. he was, uh, he was riding. Don't me, I'm just telling uh, the truth. He was riding. You better walking around the Grove the next week. No, uh, Rodeo Drive, it wasn't the Grove. Yeah. No, and by the way, it was two days later. Yeah. yeah. He, he what? After he was on that bike and they got eliminated, he came here because, you know, he's living here. And right, I right, think, right. is he married to Kristen Cavallari at that point in time? And yeah. paparazzi saw him, like, limping around Rodeo Drive. So, wasn't a good yeah. look. Totally understand why you would wear the emotional scars the way that you currently do. I'm just saying that you need to just turn a page and sit tight because I think it's going to I think it's going to turn why? for you. Why? Why do you say that? Cuz the kid that they drafted is that talented. There's only one person. I understand that. I just think that the rest of the team is built ready to make sure that this kid is is going to succeed. Do they have an O-line? They have a better O-line. They've got uh, wide receivers, they've Better got a defense uh, than, than last year. That's not saying a lot. I know that. I know that. I, I, so I understand why you're taking this approach. I'm just trying to leave you in a better I'm spot than to, I have found no. you. That's all I'm saying. You a New York Jets fan. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't saying a lot, Rich Eisen. Rich Seth Eisen. Shoot. Oh, I'm using your name. I'm losing all the names. She saw She saw. She met my diploma. Yeah. diploma. Yeah. 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 That's how she knows my middle name. Up the street from Chicago. This is the first, you're the first guest to drop my middle name on, well, on this program. Well, all three of the names. <laughs> <laughs> What's your middle name? I don't have one. <laughs> Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.